good morning class 7 i hope you all are relaxed now and you all have given your term exams carefully now since our term 1 is over so we are starting with term 2 so term 2 first chapter is lesson number 3 computer viruses we have discussed this topic earlier also in my previous video so i am giving a second part of it mentioned above as computer virus part 2 so whenever we talk about computer virus we must know whether our computer is infected or not so how will we get to know whether our computer is infected or not so there are some signs of virus infection so it's very important for any computer user to be aware of these warning signs like first one slower system performance when the system does not perform in a genuine speed which it usually used to then we say the system is performing slim then pop-ups bombarding on the screen we must have observed this when you sit on internet usually some pop-ups keep coming up so to avoid them we click on block the pop-ups but that's not the solution that doesn't mean that your viruses have gone so some pop-ups can be a reason for virus programs running on their own if you haven't opened any program but still it is running on the screen on its own without your intervention that means there is a virus in the system then files multiplying and duplicating on their own this is again a very common symptom new files or program in computer are appearing you have not saved any particular file or folder and that file and folder is residing on your computer so that is again an important sign and then files and folders getting deleted or corrupted itself and the sound of hard drive is also sounding something different so these are some signs now what to do when the virus has arrived into your system. So if you come across the above mentioned signs and there are chances that your computer is infected. So first one is to, um, you need to treat that. So not to delay, immediately stop all the commands and download any antivirus software. If you are unsure what to do then get assistance of an, un, of an authorized computer person. If you are confident enough, then start investigating on your own by allowing the below mentioned steps which I am about to tell you. So first one is the safe mode. Boot the system and press F8 for advanced boot options menu. Select safe mode with networking and press enter. You might need to keep repeatedly pressing to get onto the screen. Working on safe mode helps handle the fish areas files as they are not actually running or active. Last but not least, the internet spreads the infection so remove the connection. Next is a next important step which we should follow is to delete the temporary files in us from our system. So in order to free the disk space, delete temporary files before starting to run the virus scan. This approach helps speed up the virus scanning process. The disk cleanup tool helps in deleting your temporary files on computer. Here's how you get, I mean, how will you delete these files? Now, for that, I'm telling you steps. Click on Start menu, select All Programs, now click on Accessories, System Tools, and then Disk Cleanup. This will help you a lot. Okay, next important procedure which you should follow when you find the virus is download virus on malware scanner if you are under the impression that virus scanner screen cleans up the bad stuff on your computer then sadly that's not true it helps in eliminating standard infections and not sufficient to remove the latest harmful infections the virus on malware scanner helps to narrow down on the issue so download it now in order to better protect go for real-time antivirus since it automatically keeps checking in the background for the viruses. Also important to know is that don't install more than one real-time antivirus program. If you do so, your system will start behaving weirdly. Now next step we should we, we should we all should follow which is reinstall the software damage files. Once the virus removal from the computer is complete, go ahead and reinstall the files and programs that were damaged by the virus or malware. Make use of backups for reinstallation. In simple, do the backups regularly. 
and stay protected. Now I'm going to share a few tips with you that will help you to protect yourself and your work from the virus that is coming up. So my next slide is about that only. Install a reputable antivirus software. Be sure to regularly update your virus definitions once per week. About virus definition, I'll tell you in detail in further slides. Install a firewall and a malware applications. Firewall will help you to monitor the incoming and outgoing network traffic and also helps to detect and remove unwanted spyware and malware. Beware of attachments. Now, this is really very important. Do not open any email attachment you are not expecting. Virus come with some very hasty messages to trick you so that you can open them. Even worse, the virus looks like it comes from an email address you recognize. So if you see a zip attachment and you are opening it, you are inviting the viruses to get into your computer. Now next is how to protect our computer. Okay, now next is what is antivirus software. Antivirus software is a very important software with respect to the security of a system. Antivirus software refers to applications designed to detect and remove the viruses from computer system. However, certain types of viruses are difficult to remove and files damaged by them may be lost forever. So whenever your computer starts up, antivirus also starts automatically and keeps checking every file that is opened or run onto your computer through internet. If a virus antivirus detects any virus, it removes it or breaks the measure which are required. So there are few names which are mentioned here for of good antivirus. So quick here is an example which I am taking up. So I am also going to tell you in these slides that how to install quick here antivirus. Once you have purchased the product, the next step is to install and register the product. There are two ways one you can use to install quick here for Windows 7 and 10 that is offline and online. For offline you can use CD and for online you can use the product key. So click on insert quick key CD and click on your PC CD drive. The installer will auto run without any external action and then click on install quick key. As you click on install, the next step will automatically start and you will get up a wizard. Now this wizard is going to show you a license. So you have to read the license and agreement carefully and check the box that says I agree. So you have to carefully click on this checkbox which says I agree. Then only you will be able to move ahead. Next step is to select the drive where you want the software to be installed. By default it will be C drive. You can change the location by clicking on browse button and change the place where you want to save it. After this next step is you will see this window where the percentage starts coming up. Now let it install the files in the selected drive which you have already chosen in the previous step and wait till it shows 100%. Once completed, it will ask you to register the product. Click on register now. This is how you this is how you can install quickly in your computer very easily. So please take care of security of the computer, then only see scanning and removing the viruses. An antivirus application scans the computer system for viruses. To find viruses on your computer, do these following steps. Initiate virus scan by opening the quick heal antivirus. Select the scan option. These screen will appear and will give you three options. So click on full system scan. The scanning progress starts and it will tell you about the scanning progress and will report about the viruses in your computer. Once the scan is complete, you can click on close. Now if the report is not positive, you can click on report wizard. There are three more ways to remove the computer virus. First, repair. It will eliminate the viruses and repairs the infected files. It is the best choice when a virus is found. Delete. 
delete option erases the both virus and the infected files. The virus and the infected files are gone forever. Now third option which available is quarantine. It is used when the infected files cannot be removed from the system. So in that case the files are separated from the rest of the computer so that the rest of the files which are not infected may not get infected now. By quarantining the files it creates a separate space for those files and can stop the infection to go further into the uninfected files. This is the best method when you cannot remove the infected files and to safeguard your computer. You can even quarantine any infected file yourself. Updating the virus definition. By virus definitions we mean the database of viruses that an antivirus software stands for. This database needs to be updated regularly because new viruses are being developed and released all the time. If the virus definition file is not updated, antivirus software will not know about the new viruses and will not be able to catch them. Updates for quickly protein security antivirus are posted regularly on its website. These updates contain information for detection and removal of new discovered viruses. By default, Quick Heal Total Security is set to update itself automatically from the internet without the user's intervention. The only requirement is that the computer should be connected to the internet. Nowadays, free antivirus programs such as AVG and Avast are becoming popular. Microsoft Security Essentials is another free security application that many people use. Microsoft Security Essential comes free with genuine Windows operating system. You can use Microsoft Security Essentials to protect your computer against viruses, spyware and other malicious programs. It is easy to install and use and it runs efficiently in the background and also the updates happen automatically. Thank you class 7. I hope this video must have been useful for you. All the best.